I've got yet another Mega Mail bag. You can see I've got quite a few items here again. So stick around, let's see what I've got this time. Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh dear. Hmm. Bugger. What? I'll make this thing out of. Get a real nice having trouble. This is curious. Right, now this makes sense. It's not a security camera, it's just some cables. Now this is for my project, I need to have multiple charging points at the same time. So I'm charging multiple items at once. So I've got 2.1 millimeter jack here and splits off to those ones there, so it's four ways. So I've got three of those I think. This means I can charge four things at once. Save some time. Be links down below for these. So here. More displays. I've done these in previous mail bags, so I won't cover these too much, but there's some OLED displays, 2.42 inch. These are SPI displays, but you can convert them to I2C, and I'll be doing a video on that. You may have already seen it by the time this video comes out, which shows how to convert from one to the other. I've recorded a video, I just haven't published it yet, at least at the time of recording this one. It'll be out there soon. I mean, there's good little displays, they work quite well. Uh, they use a reasonable amount of power. They're not too bad. They're quite easy to see during daylight, too. They're not actually that bad. They're pretty bright. Yeah, I recommend them. The big links for these down below. How do we get into this one? I'm guessing that's one of the ways. Oh, oh, oh. Something like that. Yeah. Right, some batteries. Some 18 secrifters. Samsung 30 Qs. I need to go and measure these. The weight feels about right, actually. That's what I'd expect. Yeah, I think they're real. There'll be links for these down below. I'll check them out too and make sure before I put the links up. I think these would be 45 or 48 grams, something like that. I'm going to go and check. Okay, I went and measured this one, and it's 48 grams, as expected, so seems fine to me. Oh, nice, let me down. Wow, these took ages to arrive. These are some little SMA adapters, female to female. I did these sort of two months ago. <laughs> well, at least they got here in the end, I suppose. I got these for no particular purpose, just to actually have them on hand when I need them, as is often the way with things I get. I might get carried away sometimes. I'm trying to rush a little bit because it's really hot here and I've got the air conditioning turned off and the door shut to try and keep the noise down. It's like 28 degrees in here right now and that's after I've only just turned the air conditioning off. Ah, uh, mouse pads. Now, how I found out about these is that my brother-in-law, he moved over to Canada and um, when he left he disposed of everything he had basically from here, you know. Didn't think he didn't want to take with him. And I've got a mouse pad, and it's like a Persian carpet mouse pad, and that's what these are. These are carpet mouse pads. So I actually discovered you can get these from AliExpress, and they're not that expensive, and they're actually really nice mouse pads. I mean, I've been using this one now for about a year, and it's still fine, and it's a really good mouse pad. I really like it. So I've got some more, a few different styles, and they should do me for a while. It's a bit of a quirky thing to have. They do a really good job as a mouse pad. They're just nice. They're, they feel good, and they, the mouse glides nicely, and that sort of stuff. They're just good. I like them. So I'll be links down below for these things. And we have some more displays. These are exactly the same as the other ones. No difference. The SPI 2.42 inch, which I can also convert to I2C. So these have got the connection along the top here instead of on the end. This is the style that I need. I, I'm stocking up on these particular ones because um, I need to make sure I've got enough of them. I need a stack of the things. There'll be links down below for these. And you would have seen them in previous mailbags. If you haven't seen it, then where you been? You should be watching the other mailbags. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Right. What's it saying here? Power supply. Yeah, not quite. Not quite power supply. They're not completely wrong. These are just some 18650 single cell holders. I featured these previously as well and another mail bag, I don't know, a month or so ago probably. And I just needed to get some more, so I didn't get enough. I just wanted to get some and try them out and see what they're like, and they were okay. I did have some issues with some of them with the terminals on one end. Let's get one out, I'll show you. With the terminal in here, where it's crimped, wasn't wonderful. So what I did to resolve that is I just basically soldered it up. I just put a big blob of solder in there. That one looks all right. The ones I got before didn't look so good. Because the 18650 batteries, the end is quite flat, or it might even be concave from the shroud around the outside of the poly terminal. So it may not actually touch it. So I actually ended up putting up a little blob of solder on there to make it a lump so it definitely contacted the battery noise. I think that solved the problem I was having, but uh, these ones actually look all right. Well, this one does. Well, this one looks interesting. I might need to sharpen my own end my phone. It's a bit blunt. Can't handle this Chinese tape. I think the tape's getting tougher. This is what I was expecting it to be in the box, but that's okay. We have a whole bunch of connectors. 
pre-made cables. These are what we see. This seven pin, seven pin, six pin, five pin, and four pin. And I think these might be eight or nine as well. And all the matching sockets which go on the PCBs as well. So these are 0.1 inch spacing. And I've got these for my projects to make it a bit easier to do some connections in between devices and between boards and things like that. I didn't have anything like this before, so I really needed them. Yeah, yeah I've got a selection now. That's great. There are links for these things down below. This sort of thing, it's just handy to have, and I wished I'd got them sooner because I really needed them. Check those links out below. Pre-made, you just cut them to the length you need too. If you need just flying leads, just cut them in half. If you need to put an IDC on the end, easy, not a problem. My well, dinner's be really soon too, so I've got to be careful about that. And you would have seen these before too. What do we have here? 868 megahertz, 20 centimeter antennas, which I've got before. These things with the flying leads as well. We've got those little push-on connectors on the end. I don't know what they're called. Sort of push on things. Also got some five centimeter ones. Obviously the gain on these is going to be far less, but much more compact. These may be suitable for what I need to do. I might not need to have these big antennas. I might be able to use these little ones instead and make it a bit less bulky. So I'm going to try these out anyway. A bit links for these. And for those that want to know what they are, these are the codes and what descriptions are for them. So you may be a fine them using these if I don't have current links. I've still got so much stuff coming. It's crazy. What is this? So when I was doing the hardware mounting stuff on my project we're working on, I realised that I didn't actually have the correct size screws or correct size nuts. So I purchased one of those little sets, which has got some really tiny ones in there. These are really small ones. Nuts and washers. Like 1.5mm or something goes down to a 1mm smaller size, up to 2.5mm of different lengths. So sometimes you just need some really small screws for certain jobs, and I do have some down to 2mm I think. But I didn't actually have a small enough one for what I was trying to do, or the correct length. Now I've got another little set to choose from. Like it comes with a little screwdriver or something in there. Looks like it. That thing there. Might be. I'm not going to open it now. Later on. I'm getting really close to 10,000 subs. Actually, think about it. By the time we see this video, I would have already passed 10,000 subs. So that's pointless me saying that. Anyway, these are like buck converters. Yep, I've already got some of these. I purchased some more. They're adjustable ones, so you can set the voltage to what you want. Very handy. Fairly cheap, a couple of dollars each or something like that. So it's a good little jelly bean part to have sitting around in the drawers for uh, later use in the project or any kind of little thing you want to play around with or tinker around with. You need to replace a little power supply or make something. You can just generate your own voltage, whatever you need. Very handy. So I've got 20 of those, I suppose, I'm guessing. I think that's enough. Okay, last item. Thank you for sticking around to the very end. Much appreciated. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and that sort of stuff too. Before we leave, it always helps the channel. Share the video too, I think people might be interested. Thanks for my Patreon supporters also. All right, so look. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, excellent. Put this out. Now, the thing I featured to him in the previous video, he'd sent me a little gift, which I've still got on my desk actually. Yeah, he sent me some more, I think. So yeah, he sent me this before. Chipmunk USB tester. Really handy little thing to plug into MacBooks. Not necessarily MacBook even. Um, I think it probably works on PCs as well. This shows the power supply on a USB port, whether it's at 5 volts or not, and if there's any activity on the USB port on the data lines. He's trying to sell these things. Paul Daniels, you may, you may have heard of him. He uses these as well. He quite likes them, so and as do I. So I think he actually sent me some more. So this is... He sent me for Christmas, like a gift, unprompted gift that just turned up. And I think he's, oh yeah, he sent me in a different part. Look, it's a different, it's like a USB adapter thing. Oh yeah, okay. So it's a USB port adapter, so you can plug this into a power supply or a multimeter or something. Standard space, I'm guessing 19 mil, and it's got a USB port on it. Oh, that's great, so you can plug it into a power supply. As long as you've got a set of 5 volts, you get 5 volts out of the cable. That's very handy. Then you can use your power supply to do current measurements, that sort of stuff. Very cool. What does it just say about that? Connect the power supply to USB for testing the USB tester. Does not set any other charging settings, resistors. Yeah, it's fine. So that's all right. Thank you very much, Harold. Make sure you go and check them out. I'll show you these things too. So I actually purchased these. It's the Tysius, or I don't know, T I don't know how you pronounce the thing. <laughs> but these are for the fixing GPUs on the 17 inch and the 15 inch. Get them right around. 15 inch and 17 inch MacBooks. The 2011s, which have known GPU issues. So these are um, some boards that he makes. And I've already used these before on some other devices, and I've actually featured them previously as well. Did a little review video on them. I've actually got to do another one for 15 inch. I've got to do a review video on that because I haven't actually published it, we even recorded it yet. I've had it for a while. So I've got some more. This one's just for another machine I picked up. And this one's just in case I need it because I do have a 17 inch. But the GPU is currently okay, but one day it will dial. So I've got the thing to fix it once it does die. Thank you very much, Harold, for those. I highly recommend you go and check these out. Go and check the links out down below. So that's the Mega Mailbag for this week. Thanks for sticking around and watching till the end. Give us a thumbs up, click the bell icon, all that sort of stuff. You should know that by now, I'll tell you every week. Every video even. Thank you very much. I'll catch you next time. Have a good week, I suppose. Bye.